Hey, what's going on, guys? Stephanie Cigar 229 here. Um, all of the top 25 cigar lists are out, top 10, top 25, whatever the case. Um, the big ones, you know, typically is what a cigar aficionado, um, cigar journal, cigar snob, you got cigar dojo, several reviewer channels do there. So um, I comb through them as I get them in my email or as I see people talking about it, I chime in and stuff. For the most part, I think a general consensus is that the lists were pretty, you know, pretty accurate this year, um, especially with like some of the top cigars and some of the lists. Um, but I looked through and it just made me think about some of the outstanding cigars I have had over the year. Um, some were on the list, some wasn't. So I just figured I would just cover uh, my thoughts on the list and ones that I think. Um, you know, could have been on there or should have been higher or whatever the case. Um, if you made the list, congratulations, of course. Um, if you didn't make the list, still congratulations. Um, you're able to make cigars, um, influence a lot of people, bring people joy and happiness from being able to smoke your stuff. So, um, congratulations either way. Open up my, one of my little tupper doors. Um, I'm gonna breeze through these, right? Like, if you want to look at like a deep description, obviously you can look it up online. Um, I'm sure reviewers have talked about these cigars as well. But um, first one is gonna be the Crown Heads Series E. I don't really see this on a lot of lists, and I'm really surprised because you know I've been smoking them since they've been a thing, and um, this was probably the best year for me. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people online smoking these cigars. So, real surprising. Yeah, it's been really great. I've smoked about 12 of these this year. And that's a lot for me because I try to smoke different stuff. So... And I'll take these out to sell those so they can be looked at online. Um, really surprised this didn't make a lot of lists. This is the um, Noel Rojas Street Taco. And um, here he got his little thing on the back. Small gauges only, small rain gauges. Um, this cigar is phenomenal. Um, even more phenomenal is the price. Um, I've been finding these online for about six or seven bucks. Um, it's always a win. Really surprised this didn't make a lot of lists. Really surprised that this thick then take number one on multiple lists. Um, this is not a normal undercrown, first off. Um, this is one of their best sticks to me, period. Um, I mean, even like the, the band design, like it's eye-catching, right? So um, whenever you're a tobacconist and I'm sitting in the humidor, some people gravitate towards stuff that's very eye-catching. So. Yeah, really surprised it didn't take number one on multiple lists. It did get some high rankings amongst all the lists, but really surprised it didn't take multiple ones. This next one is like kind of biased, so sorry, not really, but um, smoking jacket hinky. Hope I'm saying that right. Kill them, don't kill me, but um, yeah. This is out of the KBL factory, which is on um, Kellner, um, associated with Davidoff. I think, you know, tobacco is theirs um, that they supply Davidoff with. But, um, yeah, this cigar is phenomenal. Um, very well balanced. Um, it hits you with flavor right away, but it doesn't overpower you, and it's consistent the whole way through. Um, and I just stumbled upon these because I had one in my humidor for about a year. And I finally got to it, and when I smoked it, I was just, I was so amazed. 
So I buy these on a regular basis. I probably smoked at least 30 of these this year, no, last year. So. Another favorite of mine, uh, matter of fact, I keep bitching at Terrence about, um, you know, all the first generation Toros disappearing. But um, this is one of the most recent Supreme Leafs here. Um, this cigar to me, like, kind of took the cigar over by storm because, I mean, as soon as they came out in a week, they were sold out everywhere, right? Um, really nice, spicy cigar. Um, high quality, they age very well, so um, surprised this didn't make any list um, on a hot spot. So I was looking at the band there. Oh, look at this, another crown head. All right, so this would be Kappa especially out of Four Kicks online. Um, this cigar is a favorite for a lot of people, right? So looking through the list, I don't really see it anywhere um, up there. Maybe I missed it. If I did, just let me know in the comments. But again, um, shout out to John Huber. Um, amazing stick. Um, they, they're actually gotten um, significantly better with age. Um, it was already good, but um, yeah, so let's take a look at that. Nice crown head tag at the foot. Nice blue label. I've been smoking a lot of these lately, um, mainly because they're more accessible to me now, because certain retailers are carrying them. So this is the War Witch by Black Star Line. Um, owner has done a phenomenal job getting this cigar to the forefront. Um, small Batch recently got them in and they were sold out in like a week after posting. Um, everybody was grabbing up bundles and stuff so um, really great Lancero. I haven't had any draw issues out of um, one I've had yet. Um, real flavorful the whole way through. Uh, didn't have to relight. Um, and it's been the quality has been this way every single time I've smoked this cigar. So I may have smoked three in the past two weeks. And you know it's a lot for me uh, for one cigar besides Fuente. So yeah, check them out. Black Star Line, The War Witch. Definitely a must try if you haven't had it yet. Um, the last one that I can show you, I do have a couple that I just don't have. Um, I think should make the list. The Southern Draw Manzanita, um, you know, veteran brand, phenomenal stick. To me, this is their best stick. Like this is neck and neck with the Jacobs Ladder. Okay. Um, surprisingly, I think it should have been up there as far as the rankings. So I do got some um, from looking at the list. That I was really surprised that made the list. It's really good. Fuente, Rado. Favorite smoke of mine. Um, one of the lists had a Curibari up there, and I just want to say that you know they are one of the most underrated brands. Um, so I'm glad to see a Curibari made the list. A lot of their sticks are under ten dollars. Um, you get boxes for under hundred. They're always quality. Um, never had any issues. I've been smoking them for years. Um, I would definitely try out Curibari stuff. Okay. Um, another surprising entry was the Casa Turin um, Origin Series, the San Andreas. Surprising that this was the only one that I've been smoking, the, um, this is the one I've been smoking the most out of the entire line, uh, mainly because of the price too, you know, they're, they go for about six bucks a stick. 
um, plain Jane label, but like, you know, that family has been in tobacco for a long time, so they know what they're doing. Um, cigar is really good. It's really a great foundation if you want to get into smoking um, cigars with San Andreas in it. Um, it's really good. Really good account of San Andreas. Um, some surprising entries that I did see on the list, which I am going to try these three. Um, AJ Fernandez Enclave, Connecticut. Uh, definitely want to try that. I don't know how I missed that since I smoked some of his stuff, but I'm going to get hold of some of those. Um, the Perla Del Mar Corojo. Um, I've been smoking that stuff for a while. Obviously, you know the background of that family, so um, quality tobacco isn't a concern. Um, the Corojo was really good, too. I think the best one out that entire line. So, And then another surprising entry was the Kung Pei. Kung Pao. All right, so sorry. Um, Maduro. Going to order five of those and try those out as well. Uh, real surprising that made the list. I've seen them around, just haven't seen a lot of people smoke them. So, um, well, yeah, those are the cigars that I think you know could you know could have went higher or will be higher at some point in upcoming years. Um, some honorable mentions for sure: um, the Fiat Lux, um, Pachardo Sumatra. Tatawahi T110, the Kappa Special. It definitely should have made more lists, okay? That's the reason why that cigar sells out so quickly when it comes out. <clears throat> um, an AJ Puro Special. Phenomenal stick. It's a sleeper, I'm telling you. Like, I'm not saying it's a Padron, but what I'm saying is when I smoked it, it reminded me of a Padron. So, um, and I had some other people mention it as well, which kind of made me go back and think. And, uh, yeah, so uh, check some of those cigars out. Um, in the video um, on my on the YouTube, if you go look at it there, I did put discount, discount codes at the bottom from some of the places I mainly order from online. Um, if I want to go into a shop and get these, um, which I wholeheartedly believe support your local shops. But if they don't have what you want, order online. I mean, it's simple. I mean, there are people too that work at the online retailers. Um, some of them are tied to physical cigar shops as well. So um, it's just fine to order off them as well if your local doesn't have it. Um, and talk to them about bringing it in, you know. And if, if the interest is there, I'm sure he'll do it. He or she will do it. So um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please like or subscribe. I won't spam you with videos all the time. You know, probably every couple of weeks when I get a mail call or if something comes up, you know, I can talk about with you guys. Let me know. Drop it in the comments, okay? Um, appreciate it.